Hey, what's up guys, DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we have some big, big, big news from the developers. This is especially important for those of you who haven't been able to get into the game since the anniversary came out. I have been holding off on a video like this because I didn't want to make any promises. I really didn't want to say anything. Uh, that I wasn't sure was going to happen. I didn't want to get your hopes up because I had no idea what the developers were going to do. And it looks like they're going to do exactly what the community, what I, what everyone was hoping for. And they have finally released an official announcement. So I am going to cover that announcement with you guys and talk about it really quickly. But if you haven't been able to get in, uh, it mainly seems like on iOS. Well, they are going to be fixing that very soon and you'll be able to play the game. And here's what they have said that uh, will come along with that fix, okay? So I'm gonna read this uh, to you guys. This is a screenshot from my game. It says, thank you for playing My Hero Ultra Impact. We have confirmed, yeah, I can't speak, confirmed that some users of the global version of the game are currently experiencing connection issues when trying to play. In response to the unavailability of login bonuses, special missions, and recruits for these users, we are considering extending or rescheduling the availability period of some content in the game. It sounds like that rescheduling would be for all players though, not just for the players affected, because it would be really hard to track just the players affected and who and who was and who wasn't. Okay, so that might, so the following events might be extended for everybody, okay? We have a JP version first anniversary login bonus, the first anniversary special missions, the first anniversary recruit, and the Impact Fest Heroes Hot Picks recruit Deku and Bakugo. Okay, so I don't know if that Impact Fest includes the 1.5 times rate banner or not. They haven't really specified, but I'm assuming they're going to extend that banner. But we will see. Okay. It also says we are also considering distributing extra items for this issue. Uh, it doesn't say what those items might be. It might be stamina. It might be UR limit breaker tickets. It might be UR orbs. It might be SR orbs. It might be more than likely what you would expect it to be is hero gems. How many hero gems? We don't know. It could be 500. It could be 1,000. It could be 100. It could be 50. We, we just don't know what they're going to do. This has been an issue for about four ongoing days now, so hopefully it will be a substantial amount uh, for those players that have not been able to log in, and hopefully that'll bring you guys back into the game, and hopefully, 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 we can expect this type of treatment in the future because the devs have communicated, they communicated when this issue first came out, and they said they were trying to fix it. Now they're communicating that they're getting closer to a fix or they're about ready to fix it. And they're letting us know, hey, we are going to compensate you. So I really like the approach they're taking with this. It is very, very nice for the devs to go out of their way to let us know what is going on. And this is probably one of my best experiences with a gotcha game that has had an error and them just communicating with their client base about what is happening. OK, we sincerely we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused to the affected users. We are currently investigating the cause of the issue and fixing it. We highly appreciate your patience until the issue is solved. OK, and that was just what is in the in game notice. OK. Over on Twitter, there was a little bit more information. It says on Twitter, thank you for sharing the details with us for the issue that is occurring. We identified the cause and we'll fix it soon. We apologize for any inconvenience and appreciate your patience as we work to resolve the issue. Okay, so that little additional tweet, in addition to this notice in game, kind of gives the impression like right here they don't say that they have the issue figured out in the notice but on twitter they basically say we have it figured out and we're working on resolving it okay so hopefully hopefully you'll see that fixed in the next day or two uh but fingers crossed guys we get some good compensation for this especially for those of you who weren't able to log in and hopefully you won't have to worry you're getting your banners uh extended you're getting your login bonuses extended your everything is getting extended so hopefully everyone who was affected will be able to play the game and this is literally like the best news we could have gotten let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below are you happy with what they've done i know it kind of sucks that you had to wait a few days but I think what they've done is more than fair. 
okay, in my opinion. But let me know if you agree down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you at all, please, please, please go down there and hit that subscribe button. There are so many of you guys that watch my videos that aren't, aren't subscribed and it would help me out a ton. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers. What's one more subscription, guys? Please, please, please go down there and hit that subscribe button or at the very least leave a like. And thank you for watching. Peace.